Hey everyone, today we're going to look at a molarity problem. Now, molarity is concentration in moles per liter. So I've got my molarity uh, equation up here in the top right. So we will use this as we go through the problem. Now, I've got a word problem, so let's take a look at it. Some calcium chloride, CaCl2, is dissolved in water to produce a 450 milliliter solution. So here's a volume, I'm going to need that with a concentration of 1.25 molar. So here's my concentration, molarity. What was the mass of calcium chloride used in this, uh, in this change? So when we dissolve stuff, we can measure the amount of material that is dissolved, and then we can solve for our unknown variable. So in this question, I've got milliliters here, this is a volume, and I've got my concentration, molarity, M. That means we're gonna be solving for moles. But the question is asking, what was the mass? So mass is given in grams, so this part, to answer the question, we are going to do a mole to gram conversion to answer the question. So this is a two-step process. But before we begin, or before we get into our mole to mass conversion, let's just set up our molarity question. So we're going to substitute our known values. So molarity is uh, moles per liter of solution. My concentration is 1.25. I'm going to substitute that in. Equals moles is my unknown. So we'll keep this as moles over my volume. Now my volume is given in milliliters. I have to convert this to liters. So I'm just, some space over here, 450. If we look at our unit conversions, milliliters is down here. I have 450 and there's a decimal at the end. And I'm gonna jump one, two, three spots back to my liters here, my base unit. So my 450 is going to get moved three spaces to 0.450 up here, 450. This is my liter volume that goes into my equation. So we're going to do 0 0.450. So now I can solve for my moles. We multiply by our denominator on both sides times 0 0.450. That cancels. And we have, let me get my calculator. Ooh, it wasn't ready. We do 0 0.450 times 1.25, and check yourself, we end up with 0 0.563, this is moles. My mole unit carries down. So now I have solved for my moles in this solution. Now that we have moles, this is of calcium chloride, Cl2, we can do our mole to mass conversion. Moles to mass, we are going to multiply by our formula weight. So CaCl2, this is calcium chloride. Calcium on your periodic table has a mass of 40. Chlorine has a mass of 35 and a half. And I have to double it because there's two chlorines in that formula. So 35 and a half times two is 71 plus 40 gives me a mass of 101. We can set up our conversion down here. So this is looking at unit seven stuff, if you're in my class, otherwise you're just looking at moles to mass, mass to moles, I do have a video on that. Moles, my unit goes on the bottom because I'm canceling it. One mole of a substance is equal to its formula weight, so 101 grams on top, moles cancel. And we take our concentration, 0.563 times 101, and we get a final mass of 56.8 grams of calcium chloride. So when you're reading and interpreting these questions, figure out which data you have. I have a concentration, I have a volume, so I can use those. I'm solving for my unknown up here, my moles. When we're solving, make sure you're in the correct units. So if you have milliliters, make sure you convert it back to liters. So take your decimal and jump it to the right, or to the left, I'm sorry. Once you solve for your moles, then you can do a mole to mass conversion if it's asking for mass. So it's units. Make sure you can get to units. We've got the skills to do each of these steps, so you're going to use them in the appropriate place. Hopefully that's helpful. Um, I put a card at the top a minute ago about finding moles if you need a reminder how to, how to do that. If you have questions, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll answer that here. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.